Today on Jones Nose, we're going to be removing carpet, padding, tack strip, and even making this really cool carrying knot. But you'll have to watch the video to see how we do it. Thanks for watching. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. So I know on carpet removal it's, it's pretty basic and straightforward, but I will say there's lots of times when I come out to jobs and I see people try to take an entire room of carpet out in one piece. That's definitely uh, not the way to do it. The easiest way to remove carpet is to remove it in two to three foot wide strips and roll it up. it up into small manageable strips. We then want to roll the carpet up. Now most bulk pickup and trash pickups uh, in most cities are going to take your carpet providing it's in small narrow rolls like this. If you do the giant dinosaur five, six foot wide rolls, they're not going to take it. Usually under four feet, three to four feet, they take it. The tighter you roll it, like he's doing, the easier it is to carry as well. That we used to do. Here's a little trick we do that actually uh, makes it pretty easy. To stay together and tie it up without having to use tape. Get a little cut here, like he's doing. We basically made two flaps. Bring our carpet over. We cut two holes in it, one for each of the flaps. Look at that, see, I would have made it bigger. Look at that. Little ingenuity. Keeps your carpet together from opening up every time. Save money, you don't have to wrap it with tape, blue tape, and a lot of tape's expensive. This actually works way better.
That was a short piece. Right down the line. Go where the nails are. Okay, that one almost broke. Yeah. Now see what happens when you break. Sometimes you will leave a nail there. In that case, use the end of your pry bar and lift. So to recap, make sure you roll your carpet up and cut it up in small manageable three foot wide strips. Tie it up with that little trick we showed you and that'll also help you to carry it. And then when you remove the padding, make sure you break the bond of the glue. And then of course on the tack strips, make sure you hit it just where the nails are. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like us and subscribe. It's so beautiful, you and me. Meant to be in the great outdoors.